in this question you have two ducts P and Q on a water wave so as you know water wave is a transverse wave so the ducts will basically go up and down perpendicular to the direction of the wave in this case the direction is to the right and this question is a bit tricky because uh, they actually ask you what is the movement of the ducts during the next half cycle of the wave let's do this question step by step the first thing we need to do is still the same find the direction of the ducts P and Q the next moment so the techniques will still be the same you draw a horizontal line linking all the crests and the trough here and as the wave is moving to the right I will draw the position of the new wave the next moment so everything will be shifted to the right so the next moment this will be the new position of the wave this first step is important because Q is very obvious because Q is the dark Q is at the highest point so the next moment it will be going down but for P I mean you need to determine whether it's going up or down so you can see that the dark will be on the water so the next moment P is going down so Q is going down if the question were to ask you the movement of the ducts the next moment then A will be the answer because both are coming down but this question here they are asking for next half cycle so there are more things we need to consider let's consider the duct Q currently the duct Q is at the highest point and that will be the time equals to zero so as it goes down to this point the, at the undisturbed position the time will be a quarter of a period or a quarter of a cycle and then as it continues to go down to the lowest point at this point here that will be half a period which is half a cycle and then it will go up to the undisturbed position again the time will be three quarter of a period or three quarter of a cycle and then lastly it will go back to its original position where the time taken will be one full period one full cycle so the part that we are going to focus on is half a cycle so it will be going down all the way so in this half cycle throughout it will be going down next let's consider p p right now at time equals to zero is at the undisturbed position so we already determined that is the next moment is going down so as it goes down to the lowest point here that will be a quarter of a period which is a quarter of a cycle and then after that it will go up to back to its original position at the undisturbed position the time here taken will be half a period which is half a cycle then it continues up to the highest point and the time taken will be three quarter of a period or three quarter of a cycle of a wave and lastly the last stretch here it will go back and that will be a period a full period so likewise since they asked for half a cycle so I will just be considering going down first then after that you will go up so for P it will fall and then rise yes and but for dark Q it will only falls so B will be the answer so what if I change modify the question if I ask you for a quarter of a cycle so it's the same technique so in this case let's change another color let's consider Q and a quarter that means it's going down from the highest point to the undisturbed position so it will fall so Q will fall in a quarter of a cycle and then for point P likewise a quarter of a time of a cycle later it will actually fall so both in this case if they ask for a quarter of the cycle both P and Q will fall so A will be the answer if that's the case so I hope uh, whichever kind of question they ask you, you should be able to, hopefully you can solve the question.